Ghost Library TV. Hello, Via Satum. Today I will be talking to you on how to script a Christian drama message. We have to learn the act of scripting very well. Yes, because if a script is bad, the message is entirely bad. If you receive a good message and you don't script it very well, I tell you, you forfeit the purpose of the message. What is scripting? What is scripting? Scripting is act of writing a detailed or comprehensive story for a dramatic production, which entails or which involves dialogue, action, inaction, reaction, costumes, props, settings. Hmm. So that scripting is not an easy task. Scripting is act of writing a detailed or comprehensive dramatic story which involves dialogue, action, inaction, reaction, costume, props, set design, scenery, and some others. It is not an easy task. Because in a good dramatic story, all the technical crew must be able to get what they will do. When they read your script, they will only have few questions to ask. Your script must be able to harmonize all crew together. Not that the light man will be confused. The props manager will not know what to do. The costume manager will not know what to do. The makeups will be confused. No. Your script, to a certain extent, should teach, should let the crew know what they will do. And the cast, the talent, should be able to deduce what I will say. How will I say it? <laughs> Because, let me tell you this, in a line, in a dialogue line, two things are there. There are two things in a dialogue line. We have text and subtext. Text is the particular statement you ask a character to say, like, I want to slap you. You know, I want to slap you is a text. The subtext is what is not written down. It's just what, what is not written down. But the way you start that scene, the response of each character to another character will make a good cast to know, no. It is not, I want to slap you. It is, I want to slap you. Oh, <laughs> I want to slap you. <laughs> oh, I want to slap you. Do you see it now? The subtext is the mood. Is the mood that a cast must enter to pass its line. Yes. I want to slap you. What does the co-character says? What does he say before this one say, I want to slap you? And what is the other character that respond to I want to slap you? That will help you to judge your subtext. <laughs> See, it is not easy. And that is, anyway, it's a training under acting and directing. But a good script writer for a drama, for a Christian drama message, must include good text 
that will help the cast to understand their subtext. Yes, the cast must get what to say, how to say it. Yes, from the message. From the director should be guided from your script. Yes, he moves from this to this, moves from this place to this place, moves from this place to this place. The director should be able to get it from your message. <laughs> that is the script. That is the script. So, how do you script after you've done your outline? You know, your outline. I said that your outline, scene one, scene two, that is not script. That is outline. Though some use it for to shoot movie to heart or stage, it is not good. From my yoga, we say in Christian drama is a sin. Don't do it again. It's a sin. Mm. Don't do that again. Yes. Mm. Don't go to location with outline, story outline, or don't go to stage with story outline. It's not good. How do you start scripting? Number one, inspiration. You have your outline. Please be calm and let God inspire you. I say it again. Be calm and let God inspire you. God will give words. Mm. Thank God for my leaders in the ministry. Shola Michael Bola Evangelist. Evangelist Mike Bameloye. They are good leaders to emulate. Find time. Let God inspire you. Let God breathe into you. Don't use your head. Some will say, eh, God will only give you message. And it will leave you to go and script it the way you like. No. Is the beginner and the finisher. That is the Bible. Is the beginner and the finisher. If is the beginner, is the finisher. So don't make him the, fin the, the, the beginner and not the finisher. Let God inspire you. Number two, let God help you to imagine. Imagination. The first one is inspiration. The other one is imagination. That is creating a visual picture, a mental picture to really help you. In scripting a message that must be you must see it like my ogre said 1995 that a script writer will firstly watch the movie the old world have not watched <laughs> that is it you see it the spirit realm you see it with mental i mean in the mental world then number three you organize organization you organized oh this inspiration this imagination, you now organize. This should come after this. Should this should come before this? This should go together. That is organized. So when people ask you question, <laughs> you be able to answer. No, this goes together. No, this to go together. This comes after this. That is it. Then number uh, four. The fourth one is inspiration, imagination, organization. The last one is expression. That's now you now start to write. <laughs> you now start to write. You know, in script writing, in script writing, you have a book for outline. You have another notebook for jotting your imagination and inspiration. Then you have another notebook to begin to script. So, as you check your outline, you check what you put down as regard your imagination, then you begin to write. And you know, even at imagination, you have some dialogue, heavy dialogue, put it down. Because you may forget when you start to express, that is, to write. Now, qualities of a good Christian drama script. Number one, it must be comprehensive. Comprehensive. <laughs> People must understand what you write. Yes. People must understand what you write. Number two, it must carry message. It must carry message. Message is the power of a Christian drama script. Don't just create story. 
You have a message of the cross. Like my oga, Agbola, we, I mean, do say it. Agbola, we say, a good Christian round message must win souls and must restore backslider. Number three, there must be neat confluence, the neat joining of plots. If two plots are in your story, they have to join together. And where they join, your audience must know. Those who are checking the script must know. Other cast must know. The cast must know. The crew must know. Number four, there must be thematic units. The theme of the message, the theme of your story, must agree with the body of the story. So while vetting a story is a message sometimes ago, everybody got confused. The writer also got confused and are asking, what is the message or what is the theme of this message? Say, what do you mean? Say, what did God put in your mind? What do you want to achieve? What is this story all about? What is the preoccupation of this story? And he said, this and this and this. And I said, no, this is a bad ending. Your story body must agree with the team. The focus, what you want to achieve. The next one, that's a number five. That's a, it must be rich in language and in culture. The language and culture must balance. Yes, if you are speaking Yoruba language, let it be okay. Yes. You put on Igbo costume. Virtually all the cast using Igbo costume are speaking Yoruba or Ausa. There's no agreement. So your scripts, the language and the culture used to express the message must correlate. Yes. Number six. It must be hacktable. It must be hacktable. It must be hacktable. The last one, you must try to economize. You must try to economize. You must try to economize. Then I will talk about the mood of a playwright. It is better to be in a lonely place when you are writing a dramatic message. Don't write where there is noise. You must enter into the mood of the character before you can express that character very well. For example, now, you know, and a scene, a scene that has to do with arm robbery. The playwright must put on or possess the mind of arm robbery before you can use or write the correct the, 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 the correct word. If you are still putting on the mind of a pastor, of an evangelist, while writing a bad arm robber, you won't get the right language. That is why a script writer, a playwright, is a general man. Is a general man. You are costume designer, you are set designer, you are makeup artist, you are a director, you are an actor. So, in writing, you yourself must be acting the role inside. Why scripting? You must be acting the role inside. If you don't act the role inside of you, you will not be able to put the right word. So, it must be in the mood before you can get the right word. You want to write about a prostitute in a particular scene. You yourself must carry on the nature in your mind, not physical, in your mind, the nature of a prostitute. So you get the right word. You want to write about a womanizer and you are just thinking, mm -hmm, I'm a brother, I'm a brother. You, don't, you are a brother, but you must enter the mood of a womanizer at that moment you are writing so that you get the right word. So, this is my advice. Scripting is not a problem. It is very easy. It's not difficult to do. But you must enter the mode. 
either midnight, either during the day you go somewhere, learn to be alone while scripting. That will help you to enter into the mood. Next lecture on this scripting, be fully practical. I will take you through so many things. Yes. I remain Soji Abiyajala. Try to subscribe, like, and share it. God bless you. Ghost Library TV.